it is a very, very, very rainy. Okay. Back on the work. I hope so. Hey, y'all. It is Monday, June 8th, and it is a very, 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 very rainy day down here in South FLA. It's 74 degrees, which, you know, the temperature isn't bad. This rain came out of absolutely nowhere. It was beautiful and sunny earlier, and then all of a sudden, boom, we have rain. But it's standard down here in South Florida. I don't know what's going on with my camera today. We gotta get it together. Y'all made me get back and forth today, but look, look at that. Okay, let's see if this works. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like it's going to... Okay, let's try this. Hey, y'all. Listen, it was beautiful and sunny 10 minutes ago, and then all of a sudden, it just started downpouring. I had to run to get into the car, and that really scares me. Story time for later. And now that I'm driving, look, it stopped raining. The streets are wet, so it just goes to show that it already rained over here and the rain is moving north. Yeah, because I'm going south and it's it's not raining, but the streets are a little wet. Such is life down here in South Florida. <laughs> it can rain on one side of the street and the sun will be on the other side laughing at those get wet. So anyway, it is 1235 and I am on my way into work today was supposed to be a day where i sat at home to play catch up because i have a lot of admin stuff that i need to take care of and could do it at home with no distractions even though the kids are there they basically you know if i tell them i need peace and quiet they'll go in their room which is fine here we go which is fine but today was supposed to be sort of for me like a day of reflection and just trying to get the stuff done that I needed to get done finalizing all of the projects that I have not having to take the time to go in you know unfortunately I got called in I mean I shouldn't say unfortunately I apologize Lord and the universe but I got called in because there is a protest in our city at 3 p.m. and so my boss called me to tell me that he needed my presence and so here I am off to work in the rain <laughs> I don't know if the protest is gonna go forward because of the weather it is supposed to be a peaceful protest which I am encouraging all participants near and far to participate in peaceful protesting. That's what we need right now, along with some other things that I won't get into, but um, peaceful protesting is the way to go. And this Ford F-150, it's just, it just won't let me be great today in the rain. Bruh, it's raining. Why are you trying to like go fast just to get in front of me? It is raining. Like, come on people. Thank God the the next lane was clear so I, I went over so that I wouldn't be involved in a collision in the rain. Oh, see, now it's starting to, to rain again. It's starting to drizzle. But anyway, I have my trusted fatty coffee with me. I love this coffee. It is the best thing. No, ice cream is the best thing. So it's the next best thing to ice cream. Mmm. So I am a little bit over 16 hours fasted, maybe like 16 hours and 20 minutes. I didn't put my fast on the app last night because I'm like, why am I just going to continue to track a 16 or a 17 hour fast? It just makes no sense. And then when I screenshot it, it takes up more space in my phone, you know, in the camera, which I need for other things. So I decided to not track my fast today. But whenever I decide to do a 72 hour fast, I'll definitely track that with my life app. But anyway, my son was drinking out of my out of my travel mug today. And I'm like, oh, oh, 
Oh, no, you didn't. Excuse me, sir. I need to have my travel mug returned back to me from your lips. Listen, everybody and their mother who knows me knows that I do not drink behind anybody. Not even my children. I find it to be rather disgusting. Now, people will say, oh, but you're in a relationship and you kiss your man and you kiss your kids and, you know, I don't understand what's different. Y'all, it's different. Because when they were babies and they would drink out of my cup and they would leave saliva, they would leave food particles in my juice or my water, it, it just turned me off. So, yeah, I, I don't drink behind people. I do drink behind the mister every once in a while, but even then I'm just like, oh God, help me, you know? <laughs> so it's nothing personal. I, I, it's not that I think that anybody, you know, has the cooties or anything, but it's just, to me, I, I don't like to drink behind people. So yeah, my son washed out my mug for me. Washed out where you put your mouth and I got my cup back. And the thing about him is that he likes to borrow everybody else's stuff. When he was cleaning out the pantry a couple of months ago, he threw away everything. That child is the child that if bread is expired for five minutes, like he will throw it out. And I'm like, man, you can put it in a deep freezer and freeze it and we take it out and use it. You know, I spent my money on this loaf of bread. You will not be throwing away any more loaves of bread, sir. He threw away all of the travel mugs. He threw away Tupperware, he threw away cups, he threw away all kind of stuff like, wow, we don't need it, it's just taking up too much room. And now that he's drinking my peach tea, mind you, that he stole, that I still have yet to try, and there's only like four tea bags left, he's using my, my mugs. And I'm like, bruh, no, no sir, we're not gonna do this. Because he broke, broke, one of the best travel mugs that I had. And it was a beautiful Yeti, like, I don't I don't recall it being a Yeti, it might have been. I don't remember, I think I got it at Target. And it was beautiful, beautiful turquoise color. And it kept my beverages really, really hot for hours, hours. This is okay, I mean, like I said, my, my food and my liquids, that are meant to be warm, I like to have them scalding hot so that it burns when it touches my mouth. I don't know why, but this is okay. It keeps it warm. I don't like to heat up stuff just to put it in my mugs just to keep it warm, but that mug just kept everything warm and it was great. But he broke it and he has yet to replace it, so I'm like, no, especially uh, this mug here. Shout out to you, Wim. Hello? But that's still fairly hot. It's really good. Oh my God, I love, I love breaking my fast with a fatty coffee. If you guys didn't know, I follow the ketogenic lifestyle. And what that lifestyle is, it is a high fat, low carb, moderate protein lifestyle. So those of us who follow this lifestyle, we have a diet that consists of about 5% fat, no, 5% carbs, I'm sorry, 5% carbs, about 75% fat, and then about 20% protein. So you, the ideal behind it is you want to lessen your carbs and increase your fat. You want to decrease your carbs and increase your so that your body takes the fat and starts utilizing it to burn calories. So when we eat the standard American diet, SAD, SAD, it's full of starches and sugar and carbs, things that really aren't good for you per se. And your body starts taking that sugar and you know, utilizing it, and that's really not the proper way it's supposed to be. So on this lifestyle, on this diet, it takes the fat, and then it's 
starts burning the fat. It's sugar free. I mean, there are sugar substitutes like xylitol, stevia, erythritol, allulose. Those types of sugar substitutes are better for you than Splenda, Equal, and the regular white sugar, cane sugar, you know, no raw honey, no honey, and we can use those for substitutes, sugar substitutes. So essentially, you begin to lose weight. And in some people, or most people who follow the ketogenic lifestyle, they lose a ton of weight fairly quickly. However, there are some of us like me who have never really been obese per se, but according to some of the BMI tests that I've taken in the past, I have been obese. So my highest weight was about 160, 165 pounds, and now I'm at 126 this morning. I weighed myself 126.8. And I've been following this lifestyle for a year and a half. Like seriously, I dabbled into it. I started in September of 2018 and I kind of went back and forth, you know, because I got, I'll call daddy right back. I got, you know, I was, you know, the keto flu and I really didn't like it. So I was doing back and forth, but December 26th, I believe, or December 23rd, 2018, I got really serious about it. And so I've been on this journey ever since. I've lost about 25 pounds total. And I, because I've gotten down to 123 and I feel really great. I'm not strict keto. I don't, for me, I don't believe that being, being strict, strict, strict with your food is, is necessary especially for someone like me who really loves flexibility because I love sweets. I have a family who was raised in the South, so we love to come together. And every now and again, you know, I'll have a little bit of macaroni and cheese. I'll have a little bit of dressing, you know, I'll have that pound cake, but then I'm right back on to keto. And so that's the kind of lifestyle that I live. And I'll get more into that at another time. I gotta go call daddy back but yeah I usually break my fast I do intermittent fasting which is fasting for a few hours and then having a, a smaller window to eat so I follow the 16-8 so I fast for 16 hours and I, I, I have an eight hour eating window so usually about 12 o'clock 12 30 1 o'clock I start eating and then I'm done by 8 eight recently because of my schedule but i like to be done eating by 6 30. if it gets past seven i'm i'm shaking because i'm like listen i need to eat but that's usually the window that i follow but anyway i hope that you guys have a marvelous monday i will be back on to let you guys know how the protest went i feel that it's going to be successful i feel that it's going to be peaceful just might start uh, marching with them so hey anyway guys stay oh what's my saying no 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 what's my saying what's my saying smile at a stranger compliment someone speak 